Woods. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is LJ and you're watching No Clutch Garage. Today's a beautiful day. It's actually Christmas today, which would usually be good, except for the fact that I'm pretty sick. I've been feeling a lot better though. I got sick early in the week. I just figured I'd get out here and make a video for you guys instead of being cooped up inside. So today's video is really simple and it's really straightforward. It's something that I never thought I would do actually just because I'm not the type of person but I did see these on another car and I was pretty impressed. I was like yeah I need to have those. So yeah let's talk about this. So today we're going to be talking about these dress up bolts and these are made by Downstar. Uh, so if you go to downstarinc.com, you can get them there. It's just a bunch of bolts and then you have these little washers that are uh, colored. And for my car, I picked red, obviously, because I have all these other red accents. But these are about 179, so a little bit over 200 once, you know, you apply tax and shipping. And then these, basically, we're going to replace all of these bolts with those. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what tools you need to do this. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up this little bag. It has all the hardware that we need. So the cool thing is all of this is like individually packaged. So you can go, you know, step by step on each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, and this will contain your instructions. So we go ahead and open that up. This is color coded and it's going to show you pretty much where everything is going to go. You know, it's going to tell you the electrical junction, fender supports, all of that. And then everything is labeled. So yeah, so we're going to go put these on step by step and I'll show you exactly what tools you need for each one of these bolts. Before I do begin, I do want to say something this kit is actually for the f87 m2 so there's going to be a few bolts that will not fit onto this engine bay but that's fine we're going to skip over the ones that we don't really need to put on everything else should pretty much be the same these chassis are very similar they're not the same but they're very similar so uh, most of these bolts will fit just fine on the f22 so let's go ahead and start all right guys so in these instructions the first set of bolts is for an electrical junction right next to the left hand strut tower the thing is the f22 doesn't have that so we're gonna skip right over those and the next ones that we're gonna have to put on are the fender supports and it's these little guys right here uh, along the sides they're kind of hard to get to but if you have a few wrenches you'll be able to get to them just fine so i'm pretty sure all of these are assembled in order so you would have the washer and the nut washer and nut and these would have been for the electrical junction we're gonna go ahead and cut these out and we're gonna move these out of the way we don't really need to use these if i find a place for these later i'll let you guys know but for now we're gonna skip them now let's grab these washers and then we're gonna undo the bolts as well all right, so here we're starting on the driver's side. So we need a 10 millimeter wrench to get these out. And you know, just these, I have like a ratchet end to it, which makes this so easy. So we just pop these out. This might be a little hard to take off. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm just gonna create a time lapse of what I'm doing and you guys can reference to it whenever you want. So these come out so we'll grab our nut and then we grab one of the bolts and these are five millimeter allen or size five allens so we're gonna take this put it in through like that and we're gonna fit it in Alright, so our first one's done, and then we can go in here, grab the next one, 
Hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys a tip that I just discovered. So these will have to come off as well. They're, they're, they're the ones that hold the fender in place. But I found that you can take this off and pull it back slightly to give you more space to work in here for these bolts that are gonna be going on the side of the chassis. It really did make it a lot easier, uh, at least to remove them and to put them in. It's also going to be easier because now you have, you know, the flexibility of being able to move the fender back a little bit and fit your hand in there. If you have big hands like me, this is going to be especially helpful. Alternatively, what you could do is remove the headlights, but that requires a lot more work. So we're just going to do it like this. We remove this bolt right here, pull it back and then stick these in there. All right. So all of those are done. I don't know how well you guys can see those, but they're seated in there and they look cool. Just make sure for this one in particular, you use the Allen keys to have the ball end. That way you can get a good angle on it and actually torque it in the right way. And those two back there are a little tricky to get to. I would say an Allen key, like an L-shaped Allen key would probably be your best bet to tighten those right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do those that same process on the other side. I'm not gonna show it on video just for the sake of keeping the video short, but basically anything you do on this side, you're gonna do on the other side as well. But I'm gonna be showing you guys if there are any bolts that are a little bit different, that are not the same on this side as they are on that side, I will show you guys as well. All right, now that we're over those terrible, <laughs> terrible bolts that were right here on the sides, the next one, number three, says plastic headlight brackets and the plastic headlight brackets would be these these two so we're going to take the bolts for this and we're going to go ahead and replace them and yeah just as i suspected these are packaged pretty much in order so here we have the four dress up bolts which are going to be the two for this side and two for the other side and the, the four bolts so i'm going to go ahead and cut so i get these bolts out and then i have the four they're called beauty washers. <laughs> they really are nice. And they're gonna fit really well with the rest of the red accents that I have in here. So yeah, once we're done with these, we're gonna be done with this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. To remove these, you're gonna need a T30. So I'm gonna use a T30 socket. I like using these sockets. They're pretty, pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and remove them. Yeah, we removed it and go ahead and like remove and replace these one at a time now we take our five mil allen and go ahead and torque it in all right now if you can see up right there they look really nice i'll be showing a zoomed out view once i get more of these done but now that we've done it on this side we're going to go ahead and go to the other side and do the same thing all right the next ones that we're going to work on are going to be the hood locking latches screws and there's going to be eight of them so it's going to be one two three four four for each side and so we're going to take these and these and we're going to go ahead and replace all of these and remember replace them one at a time so we're going to go ahead and remove these and to remove these, you will need another T30 socket. Like I said, I like these sockets a lot. So you can use a power tool to remove these or a ratchet, doesn't really matter. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. All right guys, so now we're gonna be doing these chassis bolts and to do these chassis bolts, it's gonna be, um, this, this kit comes with 14 washers, but uh, realistically, there's only gonna be, so essentially it would have been seven on each side, but this F22 only has six holes that you can actually do that on. So you'll have one, two, three bolts, and then these holes are gonna get filled in as well with the dress up bolts we're gonna have here the washers and then we're gonna have the bolts and there are some nuts and for those that are only holes like this ones and they don't actually have a bolt we're gonna put a 
bolt through it with a nut underneath and I'll show you guys how to do that all right so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and get these out and you will have some of these left over but it's fine and then we're gonna grab the bolts so obviously this first one it's just gonna be a washer with the bolt And again, we're going to use a size 5 Allen. There's the one. I'm going to go ahead and do the bolts first. And before I continue, when you remove this plastic trim piece, uh, I guess I should have talked about this a little bit, but you're going to have to remove this plastic trim piece. You're going to have these guys that are going to be holding this in place. You just pop this out and then pop these out. And then this will come right off. And you will not be using this anymore. But as always, I would suggest you put this somewhere where you can you know go back to it if you want to but right here i'm just gonna use some degreaser and i'm gonna clean this uh dirty part and to remove these bolts you're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket courtesy of precision race works this comes right off go ahead and grab you the beauty washer with a bolt and we can go ahead and put this one in and then there's one right back here behind the hood so we're gonna go ahead and take this one off Go ahead and screw it in. And then here's the next part that I want to spend some time on. So we're going to grab a beauty washer with one of these bolts. And um, if you can, go ahead and remove this plastic cow cover and move it out of the way. And then we're going to grab our nut, place it underneath, and then drive our bolt through. And go ahead and hand tighten it then we're going to grab our power tool and we're going to grab our 10 millimeter wrench and with the 10 millimeter wrench you're essentially just going to hold this bottom nut in place and now it's in place then we're going to do the same thing for this one and this one up here On this one that's right at the hinge, you are gonna need to use a ratchet or if you have just a regular Allen, you can use that as well and then just tighten it. And then I'll just go over all of them, just make sure they're all pretty tight. And that's how you do this side. So now I'm gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing. All right guys, so if we keep following this, a uh, number six bracket next to left hand strut. Uh, we're not gonna use that one. That one is just for the F87. And then right hand intake pipe bracket. We don't have that here, so we're not gonna use that either. And so we're gonna skip over to number eight bracket next to left hand strut. We don't have that. And so we just go to the radiator support front brace and this is gonna be 10 washers with 10 steel bolts. So if we go to our little baggie, we're gonna skip over these two. And we're gonna go straight to these right here with these big bolts right here. So let's go ahead and take these out. And this is gonna be the last of the hardware we're gonna be using, by the way. So let's go ahead and take these out. So here we just have to watch because we have two different sizes going on. So to remove these, we're gonna take a T40, go ahead and remove it. And it's gonna be the same process on the other side, so I'm not gonna show it. The T40, this comes right out. We're gonna take one of the big bolts because they're two different sizes and one of the big beauty washers. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. This is also gonna be a different size, uh, putting it in. We're gonna use the size six Allen. Goes in, go ahead and use a ratchet for safe measure. Just like that. Same on the other side. And we're done on this side completely. This I'm not gonna show on the other side, but you essentially have to do the same thing. What I wanna focus on now is gonna be these bolts that are in here. So unfortunately I'm running out of fluid, but there are gonna be two different sizes in here. You're gonna have 
the two smaller sizes they're gonna be smaller bolts and you'll be able to pick them out right away it's really not that difficult to see so we're gonna go ahead and take this one out which is the smaller one and then we're gonna take the smaller size beauty washer and bolt and go ahead and put it in there and then we have another one here same size all of this is pretty straightforward you're just basically removing and replacing with the new stuff the instructions are pretty clear so it's really hard to mess this up to be honest right here in the middle we have two of the big ones we're gonna grab our big guys right here put them all in And just like that, we're done. But I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to show you guys what this looks like because it really does look really good. We'll be back. All right guys, so I was gonna wait until tomorrow to show you guys, but I uh, decided to come to a gas station. Just show you like, this really does change the look of the engine bay with these dress up bolts. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, but now that I'm looking at it, they look great. And uh, I think once I clean up the engine bay a little bit, so end up looking a lot better too but yeah that's basically it i will say the only part that i do not like is the fact that these hide behind the seal which like it's fine but i wish i could see them a little bit better unfortunately i'm not removing that seal so uh, there are these two that would go for the f87 uh, carbon fiber brace i'm gonna see if i can find some nuts to go underneath and put those those big ones in there but i haven't really looked into it yet but other than that that's pretty much it anyway guys if you like this video if you like the instructional and how this uh how these dress up bolts look go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe and i'm sorry my energy is kind of weird today um i'm actually pretty sick doesn't look like it but i feel like crap but i want to go ahead and get this done of course i'm getting ready for texas 2k and like that's not necessary for texas but i want to go ahead and get the dress up bolts and everything done because this car is going to bmw invasion in february February as a display car for your empire so you know i also did need to do some looks uh stuff here and there so uh got a lot more things coming for the car before then and hopefully i can document everything it is a lot and i do not have a lot of time so uh sometimes it's hard to document everything but the final product will be amazing anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace